Now is the time to know God's purpose for your life. Mary Crowley Ministries has been traveling the world, equipping and preparing people on how to find God's purpose for their life through conferences, preaching engagements, prophetic meetings, and youth outreaches. Join Mary Crowley for God's Word for you today. Now is the time to be heard. Hello, welcome to Now is the Time. I'm Mary Crowley. You know, how many of you have been going through very, very challenging circumstances? In fact, you're going through something where you are really having to persevere and believe. Well, if that is you, you're not going to want to miss this program today because I'm going to be talking about possessing your promises through perseverance. And I'm going to be sharing some different stories about perseverance. Because to me, I don't know about you, but I love to hear stories about faith and courage because it gives me the strength to say, you know what, if that person can do it, then I can too. Now, I want to read you the definition of what perseverance means. It says, persevere, to persist in any purpose or idea, to strive in spite of difficulties. You know, what difficulties are you going through today? Many of you watching the program, you may just be at your wit's end. And it seems like we're in the society today that people are so stressed out everywhere you go. You know, I was at a dinner the other night and was sitting next to a medical doctor and he was telling me about the overprescription of these antidepressant drugs. And he was saying what's happening that when people are just having a bad day, they're going out and taking, getting prescriptions for these antidepressants. And he said what happens is, Now, there's some people that really medically need to be on them because their serotonin levels need to be regulated, but there's some people that are just taking it because they're having a bad day and don't know how to cope. And what he said is what happens when too many people take these things, it makes them like zombies because it just flatlines you. There is normal cycles of that we're going to have our our highs and we're going to have our lows. And, you know, we're going to have times where there's going to be peaks and valleys. But it's in times of the valleys. You know, the Bible talks about in Psalm 23, it says, I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death and I will fear no evil. Some of you may be going through death of a vision today. You may be going through a time in a circumstance in your life where you used to have hope, you used to have vision, you used to have passion, and now it seems like everything is completely dead in the water. Now, if that's you today, this message then is for you because you're going to learn much more from your perseverance and keeping on instead of deciding to throw in the towel and quit. You know, I've shared this story so many times as I travel around the country and give messages at different churches or conferences or retreats. And I always share stories about people that have a purpose. And you know, one of those gentlemen was Thomas Edison, who basically was set to try to invent, you know, electricity, the light bulb. And do you know it took him over a thousand times in his quest for this invention before he finally discovered it. And he learned as each invention seemingly failed, he learned what not to do the next time. And so he did not look at them as failures. He looked at as a learning experience that taught him what not to do. And so it got him that much closer to his goal. I'm going to share just a couple of stories. I know many of the things that I've been told to do in my life, you know, so often as we pray, God will show us the plan that he has for us. And so I was praying one day and I felt the Lord tell me that he wanted me to put on this large youth concert. And so basically what happened, just to make a long story short, basically I went out and found the venue, I got the bands, we got everything going for this thing, we had the tickets made up, it was all set to go and only to have a call from the church that we were going to put it on saying the concert concert was canceled because they heard there was going to be rock and roll bands. Well, rock and roll, I mean, how are you going to reach young people unless you're going to have the type of music that they're going to listen to? And for some reason, this pastor didn't get the right information. The concert was canceled, and there was nothing we could do. I tried to get a hold of that pastor. I tried to go knock on the door, say, Pastor, you need to hear the plan. This is going to be something that's going to be a great outreach for the young people, only to just have the door slammed in my face. And so finally, I was praying, and I felt the Lord say, Move it. I want you to move the venue, change it up. I believe it was God's plan to have that concert at that church because there had been a big youth outreach like several years earlier. But you know what? 
it never really came to fruition. So I believe that God wanted to give that church a second chance. I'm telling you this story for a reason. Because many times as you go on your quest for your vision, for your purpose, for the things that you're called to do, you are going to have obstacles in the road. There's going to be times that you're going to say, gosh, you know what, I just want to quit. And that is what happened at this time in my life. I just said, forget it. I just want to quit all this hard work. It seemed like it was for nothing. And so, but I heard the Lord say, don't quit. You will reap if you don't quit. And so what I did is I started looking for other venues and I found one. I found a great venue, which was actually better than the one that we had been at originally. And so what happened, we had to bite the bullet. We had to reprint the posters, reprint the tickets, redo everything again and change it all up. But the night of that concert, there was 5,000 young people that came into that venue and over 500 young people came down and gave their hearts to Jesus Christ that night. You know what, if I would have quit and I would have said, forget it, you know what, we had all this planned and it seems like the plans didn't come to fruition, you know what, that would have all been lost. But I persevered through those challenges and through those times in my life and I waited upon the Lord and the Lord gave me his strategies. You know, there was a time that King David he actually had been out fighting. He was fighting and he was with his men of war and he came back home and he was in Ziklag and all of a sudden he came back to find that the enemy had come in when he was out fighting another battle and had literally come in and stolen his wife, his children, all of his possessions. They were all taken from him. Now at that point he could have been very bitter and some of you watching, I believe that what's happened is you've had some circumstances and challenges in the past. And what happened is you became bitter and you became angry at God. Well, you know, it's not God that did this. You know, there's going to be obstacles in your way. The Lord gives you a hope and a plan. He wants you to succeed. The Word of God says, if God before you, who can be against you? He's there with you. He's there, but there is a fight. You know, the Bible talks about this life as a race, as a fight, as a wrestling match. And if you watch a wrestling match, sometimes the wrestlers, it looks like one guy's winning and the other guy's on the bottom, and the other time it looks like the other guy's winning. And sometimes you don't know exactly who's going to win, but the one who stays, who stands, who fights until the end, that's that one that's going to win. Well, this is what happened with David. David had come back, all of his things had been taken, all of his family, but what he did is he first inquired of the Lord. He went and inquired of the Lord and he said, God, what do you want me to do? And God told him, he said, go and go after them for you shall surely recover all. I'm sensing by the spirit of the Lord that there's some people watching right now that this is a personal word for you today from God saying, you are gonna recover all if you don't quit and you will go after that which God has purposed in your heart to do. Maybe it's a business dream that you had. Maybe it's a family person. I don't know what it is. I don't know what their dreams are that are in your life, but all I know is you will reap if you don't quit. So David, he went after, and you know what? He recovered not only everything that was stolen, he recovered not only the stolen, his family, his possessions, all of these things. He also took the spoils of the enemy because you know what? The devil always goes too far. He always overplays his hand. He always overplays everything until you get sick and tired of being sick and tired and you say enough. There's another story about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, there were three Hebrew. There were three Hebrew men. And you know what? What had happened is Babylon, had come in and taken, captured all of the Israelites. Because you know what happened? They started bowing to all the idols of all the false gods around them. And the Bible always told them in the Old Testament, as long as you seek the Lord and put him first, that God was going to bless them. But what happened to Israel, just like what happens to many of us, is that things start going well in our lives. We start getting blessed. We start getting that promotion, start getting the new job, start getting the bigger house, and then we start forgetting God.